<laughs> the guitar is distracting because of its gravitas, no volume. I've never met some anyone that picked up the rules as quickly as you. You know how to rush duel. You can get more deck recipes by dueling various opponents. If you duel the person who gave you the deck recipe, they'll give you the cards you need to buy build it. But please don't swap out the cards in your deck just yet. Of course you're allowed to swap out the cards in your deck, there's no rules against it. But since you're new to rush tools, you should gain more experience before building your own deck. If you lose a duel, try looking at more different deck recipes to find one that fits your style. I think you're ready to duel without my help. Good luck! Boom boom! Ah, now I can battle local duelists. <laughs> bing bong! Bing bong! Bing bong! Bing bong! Looks like you've mastered the basics. You can keep that last deck, it's my gift to you. That deck is the first deck I ever built when I st started rush dueling. Nice. Now then, go challenge everyone out there to a duel. Hold up. You can't send the baby giraffe into the wild where all the lions are. You need a papa dragon like me to show you the ropes. I'll duel you first. Is this a good idea? Luke takes dueling really, really, really seriously, so he might be too much for a beginner. You do have a point. Luke isn't known for easing off the gas. Then Roman, how about you duel instead? Huh? Me? But I didn't bring my deck today. What? Am I hearing that you don't want to duel the pa Papa Dragon? In that case, I'll let Roman borrow my deck so that you can duel the Mama Dragon. I am not a mama dragon, but sure, I'll duel ya. Since this will be a real duel, we'll start with 8,000 life points. Ready to duel. Ready for the rush? Boom. First. Roman, I've upped my game too. Let's begin. I'm gonna give this duel my all. Rush duel. All right. I get to go first. Check out my spirit. I draw. I get to go first. Curtain of sparks. All right. So first up. We're gonna summon, summon a the Mystic Dealer. Then we're gonna activate the effect of Mystic Dealer. I activate my and we're gonna send the Spellcaster from hand to grave. I'm gonna go with Strange Cat. It's a little too strange for me. Spell Archer, sure. Uh, then we're going to Summon the Hydro Magician, tributing our Mystic Dealer. Tribute one monster. To tribute summon. Yeah, I'm mostly worried about the sound effects, if the sound effects are too loud. Because they, they sure, certainly are louder than the rest of everything else. Alright, we'll set this set bad boy. And we'll go ahead and set Mystic Stream to... I set a card. And then we'll end turn. I mean, beat that, honestly. This is a pretty good board. You know, for this early stage. Oh, they're thinking. Oh, they're setting cards? Oh, they're tributing. Gravity Press Dragon. What does this guy do? Send one card from your hand to the grave. One face up monster opponent field loses 700 attack and defense to the end of the turn. That's a lot. No way! No way! No way, Scoob! Like, like, no way, Scoob!
There's setting cards. What's the details on this one again? Um, 500 attack? Well, I guess we activate this now or never. And I think we'll be equal and then we'll crash. Not ideal. But we'll take it. It's my turn. I draw. Five cards. Feels so nice. All right, first up, magical stream. We're gonna pop a little bit of that back row. Uh, dark encounter. Oh, that was a good one to pop before we did anything. All right. What does this one do again? Send one card from hand to the grave. Change the battle position of one monster in your opponent's field. Not particularly good, but it does have a little, some attack points on it. Oh, it's a level five monster. What a terrible card. I summon a monster. All right, and it'll tribute our small guy. And then we have a 2000, and we'll go ahead and set this I'll trap set card. I guess we'll tribute summon this guy. Tributing our uh, dark sorcerer. Uh, we'll leave the other one and just lose a draw. All right, let's get some damage in. Here I go. I attack you directly. <laughs> Stay focused. You're wide open for a direct attack. This is bad. <laughs> Stay focused. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good turn. All right, they're gonna draw five though. They're gonna tribute. Oh boy. No, it's just a big guy. Phoenix Dragon does something. I don't remember what it does. Oh, another one? Luckily, we have a back row. Gravity Press. I guess I should get over both. This isn't good. Time to battle. Unless. Watch this. When your opponent declares an attack, shuffle four spellcaster type monsters from your grave into the deck, and then destroy all attack position monsters on your opponent's field. So, uh. Bye bye! Yep, we have fucking Mirror Force for Spellcaster decks. Um, yeah, that's the ones we want. What? Get owned. Easy. I I end my turn. Free win. Seven's Roads. 
All right. I summon a monster. Mystic dealer. I activate my monster's effect. Just no reason to do this, honestly. Uh, we'll set this just in case. I, I don't think they have a battle trick though, or else we would have seen it earlier. I think we actually could have gone even more all in, but I didn't really feel like doing it. Lethal. Bye bye. This duel helped me improve my game. Did it help us though? Oh yeah. Like what? Multi strike dragon Dragius. That's a good card to have, though. A nice one. I mean, it gives it to you, regardless, so... Huh? Are you really a beginner? You're way too good for someone who just learned the rules. This may sound weird, but I felt like I got to know you better through this duel. Oh god, she's on fire! By dueling Roman, your spirit's connected. Gay. Well done. That was an excellent duel. I'm not just talking about your skill. I sense that you want a duel so you can make new friends. Nice job, bro. You made Papa Dragon proud. No. I didn't mention this earlier, but I felt a connection in our duel as well. A deep, beautiful connection. How could this be? We just met. How can love blossom so quickly? <laughs> it must be destiny. Huh? Uh. Uh. Rain, what are you talking about? It seems when you duel, you can look into your opponent's heart and form some sort of bond. That sounds spiritual, so I call this power your spirit. What? Can love blossom on the battlefield? You can see into your opponent's heart? Is that all you can see? Can you also see the future? Because there's one super important thing I need to know. What's for lunch tomorrow? You can look that up on our school's bulletin board. Well done. Since you finished your training and defeated Roman, you're now a genuine duelist. So get out there without any delay. It's not like you're Yami Ruler the Dark Delayer. <laughs> Yami Ruler is Gavin's favorite monster. Get it? Dark delayer, delay. I mean, uh, Gavin tries his best. So yeah, uh, Yami Ruler the Dark Delayer is like the only stall card in this format, and uh, that's why it was the best card for a while. <laughs> oh, why did they do that? Why do they print a stall card in this fucking format? Unacceptable. It's not funny anymore because you had to explain the joke. But we're getting off track. Are you ready to battle against all types of duelists? Huh? You haven't memorized all the rules yet. That's not a problem. If you need clarification on the rules, select tutorial in the main menu. What? Did you say menu? Because I'm hungry. I'd like to order a Dragius curry. It's not a food menu. <laughs> For those not in the know, allow me to explain. Though Roman is a horrible chef, she accidentally cooked up the most delicious dish ever, Dragius Curry. This was a thing that happened in the anime, and now I'm recounting for you, the curious TCG player who never got to see the anime because we refused to bring Rush Duels to America. You would think a neon blue curry with gumdrops and soda would taste horrible, but life is full of surprises. 
Aw, you sweet talker, you. Because it's full of gumdrops and sugar and soda. <laughs> I don't think those were compliments. <sighs> but I want to take it as a compliment. Me! Me! I want to take it as a compliment. <laughs> Newsflash, newsflash, duelist detected. Huh? There's a mega powerful duelist in the building basement. You know, the special building? What? The building basement? You mean the one where Yuga uploaded the rush duels to Goha's systems? No way! That's where we met that guy. You think this could be him? <laughs> hmm. If it is, maybe he wants to duel. If it's not, maybe it's a trap to destroy us for eternity. Those are two big extremes, Luke. Well, no use sticking around here. Can't find out what's going on unless we go there. Whew. I wish they would stop talking so I could play the game. And then... And then... And then I'm go... And... And then... And then I'm gonna go talk to them. I knew my eyes didn't deceive me. You're a fine duelist. Your spirit is amazing. You think I'm amazing? You're such a smooth talker. God damn. Dude's got little dude's got game. Well done. Such spirit. Such dueling. <laughs> There's never a dull moment with you, but there are dual moments. Get it! Anyways, let's go to the basement. <laughs> it's amazing what your spirit lets you know that you like feeling. I wonder if that's all I can do. <laughs> let's head to the basement. We can walk there from here. As opposed to the school, which we have to go to a menu for. You're no longer a beginner. You're a real duelist. <laughs> do not do not speak of the evil of Baby Gronk in my chat. The building's on the other side of that alley. Uh, I want to know more about your special powers blow, but let's get up to that basement first. There needs to be a run button. In a rush duel, you can draw it till you have five cards in your hand. I love that. I just went through all the tutorials, my dude. Uh, do not speak to me. What? Do you hear the rumor? They say if you duel to here, it'll help you in the battle royale. <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone stayed out spots before a queue, even though this tourney hasn't started. Uh... A queue already. We have to hurry. You, bring two chairs. You, bring four chairs. Kaizo. Save us spots with these chairs. But by myself? That's not fair. No way. What's so special about this place? If I was Goha, I'd pick a more famous location like Gastrobite. That's why most rumors are false. Okay. What was the point of that then? There's not much light around here. I can hardly see a thing. <laughs> I'll crank up Kaizo's lights. He might overheat, but that's a risk we'll have to take. <laughs> my, my eyes, they're burning. What? Look. No way. It's Otes. Now, chat. Can you tell me what Otes is backwards? You finally arrived. I knew it'd be you. Oops, I forgot you've never met him. That's Otez. Who he is, is a mystery. Yuga had a duel against him to upload rush duels, and he shows up from time to time when we least expect it. <laughs> I learned that you found a new ally in your quest to spread rush duels. I wanted to meet this individual for myself, so I invited you here today. The only way I know how. So you're the one who spread those false rumors in order to draw us here. It didn't work. We were already coming here. What? Are you saying there's no barbecue? When you heard they're forming a queue, did you think it was a barbecue? No way. I think Otez has noticed that you have special powers. <laughs> I wish to test the potential of your power with a rush duel. Uh. Otez is a very strong duelist. Make sure you're ready to face him before you do. Yeah. 
Seto Kaiba is a multidimensional shifter? No idea! I don't know the story of Rush Tools because they never brought it over to America. Good. Let's begin. I'm ready for the rush. He's just- he's named- he's named Seto backwards and he has the blue eyes white dragon. That's all I know about him. Got him! I'm feeling the pressure! How special can I be? I wish to test the potential of your power. I will say, he doesn't Rush sound like duel. Kaiba, you know what I'm saying? I get to go check out my spirit! I draw! A disciple of Kaiba. True. I summon a monster! Let's see you beat. Uh, let's let's go Hydro Magician first. I tribute one we might need Onslaught. Uh, we have to keep it in for a while because we're not allowed to build a deck I'll set a yet. In fact, when this game first came out, no one well, it first it came out in Japan for like a long time. And when it came out, nobody was allowed to build decks until you beat the game. You literally had to beat the entire game to, in order to be able to build decks. Uh, but then, eventually, they implemented a place where you can go to do the Konami code, to like enter in the Konami code, to uh, allow you to build a deck before you beat the game. Uh, so that's what we're going to do once we beat this guy, actually. I think it's actually exactly after you beat this guy that you're allowed to do the Konami code to open the ability to build your own deck. Oh, Gaia. The Fierce Knight. No, I don't want to see him at all. I set a card. I set a card. I'll set a card. Let's Battle back. phase. I attack with my and this is why we didn't use Ansler, because he summons skies that are too high attack for us. Not bad. We need the uh, fucking spell cards here to beat it. I end my turn. I draw. Curtain of Spark, that's a good one. Oh, what does Shining Shaman do? I don't remember that one. Send this card from the field to the grave. Face up. Level 4 lower spellcaster can attack directly this turn. Interesting. That's really bad. That's a bad card. But you know what? It does... It do be a card I contribute summon. I tribute one monster to tribute summon. Yes, it's very nice, Sarge. The Rush Duels is like Yu-Gi-Oh! perfected. It is crazy. I can't believe they're keeping this from us. I I need rush duels, man. I need it so fucking bad. Oh wait, what the fuck is this? Send a card from your hand to the graveyard. Oh no. Oh well, that's fine. We need to do it. So I guess we'll give up curtain of sparks, unfortunately. Now it's blue eyes sized. It's time to battle. I'm attacking with my monster. Yep, that's what we're doing. 
Ugh. Just a scratch. It would be so cool if he was voiced by the Kaiba dub actor. Direct attack. This is important. What? What? Is this really happening? How could this happen to me? I made okay. my mistakes. My I'm not out of options yet. It's my turn. I draw. Like literally, I don't, I, I don't even care if they bring anything else over from Rush Tools to regular Yu-Gi-Oh. If they could bring over the requirement effect thing, that would be really nice. But the first, the thing is that most monsters and other cards have more than one effect, so you'd have like requirement effect, requirement effect, requirement effect. Uh, which you know could be helped a little bit by using the OCG's numbering system, where you number the effects. I, I've seen this before. We can skip that shit. Yeah, that's not good. I set a card. I set a card. Time to battle. Time to battle. Here I go. Here I Time go. That's nothing. I end my turn. I draw. Five cards, baby. Never gets old. Okay, so first up, Mystic Dealer. We're going to activate the effect of Mystic Dealer. Pitch the fucking cat. Draw a card. Ansler. That's a fucking good one. Okay, tribute. I tribute one monster. The mystic dude to summon our Ansler. Uh, we'll set our traps. And then we're going to activate our spell card. I activate a spell card. What? We'll uh, send that one. Ansler, get large. All right. Still unused cards. I think that means like switching Hydro Magician to Defense Magician, okay, but I don't want to do that. I attack with my monster. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. You're wide open for this a direct attack. All right. Unbelievable. We're doing pretty good. This one's a, this one's actually kind of a tough one, so I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. Now, if he draws the blue eyes white dragon, we might be in a little bit of a bind. But we do have some set cards now that will probably uh, and, uh help us, particularly the uh, the one that's just mirror force. Okay. My monster's effect activates. Oh, what does that do? Um, no other monsters on your field and have three or more normal monsters in the grave. Send this card from your field to the grave and special summon a normal monster from your graveyard to your field in face up defense position. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's gonna get Gaia out again. I've unseen this dog. I summon a monster. 
Karma Knight. I summon a monster. Karma Knight. Okay. I activate a spell card. What? Oh. Send two cards from your hand to the graveyard. Change one face of monster on either side of the field to face down defense position. Oh, Onslaught does not have good defense. I switch its battle position. Okay. Well, they're going to get over it. Kind of on the back foot a little bit, but... Oh, wait, no. We can just do the, one of these. Is it even worth doing that, though? 500 attack. But then the other one just destroys it. And then the other one is, like, Mirror Force. But we need to save that for Gaia, because we have no out to Gaia otherwise. So I think we just let this happen. Unfortunately. The door to victory is open for you. But will you step through? I am trying to. Cool. What a cool line, dude. I can't let up. Okay, I draw. Well, we drew another onslaught, so I made the correct decision. First up, you know what we're summoning. We're summoning the Mystic Dealer. Um, let's also actually activate this one. Just go ahead and get rid of another back row. Get rid of that. Get it out of here. Okay. Um, Mystic Dealer effect. Ugh. Get rid of this fucking card. This card sucks. Just drew another one. Great. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna have to. So we're gonna get Ansler back out. I tribute one monster to tribute summon. And then we're gonna summon, um. I summon Wolf Fang. And we're gonna tribute for the worst card in the world, uh, Tor Torna. I tribute one monster to tribute summon. Just to get this card out of our hand. Uh, and then we're just gonna pass. We're not even gonna, we're not even gonna go. Well, no, we should go battle. I should bring this duel to an end. Yeah, we should, but we're not going to, because we can't get over Gaia. You underestimate me. Oh no. I activate a trap. No way. Pokemon monster attack. Choose the attack target. Call the Earthbound. Like the Earthbound Immortals. Actually. It looks more like the Earthbound, um, Spirit. Earthbound Spirit is a normal monster that just randomly is an Earthbound monster for some reason. Even though it's not, it has one of those things where it's like, Slime Toad is not technically a frog monster, because it was Slime Frog. It's the Earthbound game, true. All right. Yeah, no, this is Rush Tools. Rush Tools has a lot of back and forth. You're playing quite well. I draw. It is partly because there's like a a catch-up mechanic. Like if I if I'm doing too well for too long, I stop drawing as many cards. But if my opponent, if like if you're going if you're doing poorly, like if you're if you're losing, then you're losing a lot of cards that you can draw back. So you, have, you get a lot of chances to get back in the game. Like uh, drawing Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh, nope, it's the other guy. It's Max Raider. Summon more monsters. I set a monster. Ah, uh, don't set. I'll 
No. Uh, wait, wait. Are they gonna... No, they're just setting monsters. I guess we do have a lot of high-level, high high-attack monsters. Let's battle. Um... We actually only need to do Curtain of Sparks for this one. Now's my chance. I Although we win card. next turn, I'm pretty sure. Okay, five cards. Seven roads. Uh, but we don't even need it, is the thing. Uh, don't know what the face down is. I wish I had a way to get rid of it. But I don't really. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go straight to battle. Um, do we wanna go straight to battle or do we wanna make it, make seven's roads? Let's make seven's roads. Cause then we get to draw more next turn in case we need to draw an out to something. And then we'll summon the cat. I summon a monster. And then we'll summon back Hydro Magician, well, a different copy of it, but still, it's back I on the field. One monster to tribute summon. All right, now let's boost uh, the attack of Seven's Road Magician. I activate Seven's Road Magician's effect. Elemental Road. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna win. My monster. Go. Go. One more. My monster. And lethal. This duel will help me improve my game. I attack you directly. Bam. I somehow found a way to win. Who are you? <laughs> that wasn't me when I win. I'm impressed. Won first time. Take that, anyone who didn't win first time playing this one. Hey there, thanks for watching another video. Why don't you give it a like, share it around, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications. You know, the YouTube stuff. You can also follow me on Twitch and Twitter for more content. I got content plenty for ya. You can also support the channel by giving me money. You have a Patreon. If you join the Patreon, you can show up in the credits over here. I would really appreciate that. You can also use my TCG Player affiliate link to get any singles, sealed product, or accessories that you want, all to start reporting the channel at the same time. That's all for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and have a wonderful rest of whatever time it is for you. Bye now!